Hey guys, welcome back. This is HK with TechRapt. Auction OS Open Beta 2 based on Android Pie is already out for OnePlus 6. And if you are currently running Open Beta 1, then check for system updates for OTA notification. The OTA update size is 136MB and it is a bug fix update so there will be no new features. If you check the changelog, there are a couple of improvements and optimizations for the system, launcher, camera and messages app and about the issues some apps might not work perfectly with this ROM and they still say that Google Pay is not working which we will be checking in a moment from now. My phone's bootloader is locked so I got the incremental OTA but if you have an unlocked bootloader then you will get the full open beta 2 ROM as OTA which is of size 1.48 GB. You can download the update via OTA and install it or you can try the manual upgrade process by downloading the incremental or full ROM zip, transfer the ROM zip file to your phone, go to settings, system, system updates, gear icon at the top right corner, local upgrade, pick the ROM and flash it. This process is same for auction voice 5.1.1 audio users too, so you can simply download the open beta 2 full ROM zip and flash it this way. The update has been downloaded and installed with restarting and post installation there were no issues. So yes we have booted back to the OS again. First let's go to settings about phone. The auction OS version is open beta 2. Let's click on the android version for more details about the system. As you can see android version is 9 pi. Android security batch level is still September 5 and the bell date is of September 7. Talking about the changes, the UI is very much same as Open Beta 1. They haven't added any new features but they have made one change to the volume slider. Now as you can see there's an option to directly go to the sound settings within the volume slider itself just like the stock Android Pie. This thing was missing in Open Beta 1 and I'm very glad that OnePlus fixed it so soon as with Android Pie by default you can only adjust the media volume. Now let's check the changelog again, first regarding the system. With Open Beta 1, some users had issues with Wi-Fi connectivity and with this update, OnePlus seems to have fixed the Wi-Fi stability issues and they have also optimized background power consumption control and pocket mode to reduce the accidental touches. Next they have optimized the multitasking UI for the launcher. As you can see it is the same launcher version 3.0.0 but it is very fluid. And about the launcher I have tried third party launchers like Nova with different navigation modes like fixed navigation bar, swipe up on home button, no issues or crashes whatsoever with these modes. But as Nova has its own set of gestures, it didn't work by default with OnePlus full screen gestures. Next they have improved the image quality for the friend camera. I haven't tested taking picture samples but if you guys have updated to open beta 2, do let me know if there's an improvement with respect to the front camera samples. Next regarding the messages app, they have improved the UI for OTP verification codes but I still wish they have included an option to copy the OTP code itself. That's it about the changelog with respect to the performance. I feel Open Beta 2 is faster compared to Open Beta 1. Face unlock is as good as Table 5.1.11, but the FP sensor is still slow. The fixed navigation bar is also buggy. Sometimes it lags and sometimes it doesn't even show up when you unlock the phone, but you can get it back by swiping left or right on the screen. Also, I've tried playing PUBG and Asphalt 9 for a couple of minutes, and the gameplay is very smooth and there were no issues. Regarding the issues, still the ROM doesn't pass safety net check and you can also see the device is not certified status within Google Play Store. 
But good news is I have tried multiple banking apps and they just work fine including the Google Pay app for India based on UPI. I think the issue with Google Pay app is restricted to contactless payments. And if you talk about the other issue with Zio Music app crashing, it is still there and happens every time you switch from one navigation mode to another. About the battery life, it is too early to comment but I'm not expecting any miracles here. It should be very much similar to that of Open Beta 1. Moving on to the benchmarking scores, Anti2 version 7 score is 2,93,560 while it was 2,93,857 with Open Beta 1, similar score. Geekbench 4 single core score is 2,354 and multi core score is 8,836 compared to 2,370 and 8,893, again similar scores but slightly lesser. So that's it, the open beta Android Pi ROM for OnePlus 6 is getting better day by day and I think this is the fastest consecutive open build for any OnePlus phone. If you guys have any queries, do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.